in a world where we increasingly talk about work life balance is it possible for a top honcho of an it company to say that the youngsters of india should work 70 hour work week welcome to my channel n rama rao narayan murthy or nrn as he is called in the corporate circles he is among the top 1000 richest people on the planet the 77 year old narayan murthy started infosys in 1981 with an initial capital of rupees 10000 the company today is valued at rupees 5.7 lakh crore and it is the number 2 company in the it sector just behind tcs incidentally tcs market capitalization is 12.6 lakh crore so narayan murthy has recently been in news for saying that indian youngsters should work for 70 hours a week nrn made this comment in a podcast with mohanda spy who is his former team member at infosys uh, pai had said pai incidentally had worked as hr director at infosys once what did narayan murthy say during the podcast murthy lamented that india's work productivity was at the bottom in the world ranking he then went on to emphasize that it was the duty of india's young brigade the youth brigade to improve the productivity ranking of india and put india into the journey of accelerated growth his exact quote is therefore my request is that youngsters must say this is my country i would like to work 70 hours a week the reaction to nrn 70 hour work week have been very diverse while there are there is some support for nrn's view most notably from sajan jinder of gsw group and bhavish agarwal of ola cabs there has been a social uproar in the twitter or x at it is called now abhijit ayer mitra who is a well known journalist and thinker and he has over 2 lakh followers ridiculed nrn he says typical indian sweatshop attitude that's why infosys is a glorified it coolie provider with low value add product abhijit uh, post had over 4000 likes and 800 retweets another person called ashok tirumal he wrote on x more power to you he is referring to mitra most indian companies are just that seed shops that practices modern type of slavery folks like murthy and premji make money so much for india as a soft tech power whatever that means modi murthy must extol his coolies to become innovators not slog extra hours so that his kids can lead a lavish life the ground reaction to murthy's 70 hour work week has been that of huge criticism all the young generation it and non it professionals that i spoke to are from noida and gurugram they were all very critical of narayan murthy's call for 70 hour work week the fact that murthy had called for volunteering and he was not suggesting a mandatory 70 hour work week is lost on the it professionals an it professional at sector 137 noida whom i met he said these were old these old men like murthy who enjoy being workaholics and now that they have no work they want our generation to lead a slave life that this seem to have enjoyed a young lady i met at dlf cyber hub in gurugram said murthy was an entrepreneur and he enjoyed working 70 hours a day she said that murthy was still free to do so and it is his choice but by being so vocal in support of longer working hours he was in a way giving a kind of a license to the management of indian companies to saddle its worker with more work something which was unethical another young man whom i met at the it hub near sector 14 metro station in noida he said that he had to wait for 6 months to join the it company after he received his initial offer and he says he is working around the clock he has lamented that his boss has just sent him a link wherein murthy is saying india's work productivity is among the lowest in the world and youngsters must work 70 hours I spoke to another telecoms company youngster in Gurugram who works in the maintenance department. He informed me that he was the area in charge of a geographical territory and he looked after around 50 towers. He said that he barely slept for more than 6 hours at night. He said that after earning an engineering diploma, he was working almost 80 hours a meet 80 hours a week uh, to meet the uptime targets of his sites 
and all that he was earning was rupees 25,000 a month. He further said that Murthy should have also spoken about the low wages that Indian workers earn as compared to their counterparts. He explained that his counterparts in Europe, they have better monitoring system to maintain vigil over their towers and they were given they were given a car or a MUV which is a multi-utility vehicle to travel to their sites. He complained bitterly that he had to travel to his sites on his personal bike even during extreme winter months in Delhi. He narrated to me something which happened to me last year. To quote him he says one day I thought I would die of cold. I was riding my bike to a site that had gone down. I had my mobile phone stuck between my helmet and my left ear and my supervisor was shouting profanities at me and demanding why I was not reaching the mobile site fast enough. Can you imagine his insensitivity? insensitivity? It was 9 degree outside and it was 8 pm. I was being reprimanded for not reaching my site quickly. If I die of cold or if I meet an accident, what would my wife get from the company? I am not even on their payroll. Another young teacher I met at one of the colleges in Delhi said, Mr. Murthy should understand that there are people who are bitten by an achievement drive. He himself is one such person that is referring to Murthy. But to expect others to be of the same mentality, it is unreasonable. Are his own children working 70 hours a week, she asked. If yes, they are doing it of their own choice. They are loaded and they earn crores by way of dividend income. They can work 100 hours. Why should someone who earn, earns minimum wages work 70 hours a day? A factory manager at a large shoe factory in Karnal explained to me. He says as per Factories Act, a worker should work just 48 hours in a week. Any hour over and above 48 hour week should be compensated by extra wages and the rate should be double the normal hourly wages. The reality is all factories have a 12 hour shift and thus 72 hour work week anyways. If a work worker works beyond 72 hours, he does not get extra wages at double the rate. He continues to earn normal wages even after 72 hour weekly labor. Modi Saab does not know that all MSMEs which is micro, small and medium enterprises companies already have a have 72 hour work week. Mr. Murthy is far removed from the ground realities of Indian business. In conclusion, I have no doubt that NRN is among India's foremost institutional builders. He has gained worldwide acclaim for his strategic vision that has propelled Infosys into a giant IT company. NRN is also one of the most respected businessmen of India. I remember CEO of a, tower, of a power electronic company in Bengaluru once confided in me. He said that no procurement head of any buying company can be charged of corruption in a deal that involves Infosys. This is because Infosys is a highly ethical company. These are the words that were once used for IBM. The reputation of Infosys is therefore spectacular. The company is known for its professionalism. NRN himself deserves credit for leading Infosys for more than two decades and turning a startup into a world-class company. Murthy has been called the father of Indian IT sector by many. Although I believe that this tag firmly belongs to Mr. Fakir Chand Kohli, the co-founder and the first CEO of TSS. In short, NRN is a role model for many in India and even abroad. People latch on to every word that he speaks. His exhortation to youngsters for working 70 hours a week is impractical. The Indians are today a lot more aspirational than Narayan Murthy's own generation. The silent generation to which Murthy belongs had low expectations from life. They wanted to sacrifice for their next generation, which was the baby boom boomer generation. The Gen X and millennials have a completely different perspective of life. These generations are the generations of fast food, Instagram, shorts, credit cards and UPI transfer pleasure holidays and quick divorces. The generation Z is even more mercurial. Loyalty and love for nation is not counted by the hours of work in a week. It is expressed by being big spenders so that the wheels of economy can remain in motion. Murthy's generation looked forward to a sumptuous meal at home after a hard day's work. Today's generation is about hitting the pub after work. NRN has a right to speak his mind. He is a father figure to millions of Indians, a hero to many. But just as he has a right to be preachy, the Gen X has a right to criticize him. That's the beauty of India. There is a balance all around.